Welcome to Innovative Instruments. Configurational Parameter for AI 5982 To enter in configuration mode, press and hold set and up key simultaneously for 3 seconds after that lock code will appear. Default lock code is 15 to enter in configurational mode. Press up key to make unit digit 5. Press shift key once to move the cursor to next digit. Press up key to make unit digit 1. Lock code will appear as 15 press set key to enter in configurational parameters. Parameter 1, input type. This parameter value is set according connected sensor type. Thermocouple J type. Thermocouple K type. Thermocouple R type. Thermocouple S type. PT 101 degree centigrade resolution. PT 100. 0.1 degree centigrade resolution. Parameter 2. Lower set point limit. Set the minimum limit for set point adjustment. It can be set from minimum specified range of selected sensor to HSPL value. Default LSPL value is 0. Parameter 3. Higher set point limit. Set the maximum limit for set point adjustment. It can be set from LSPL value to maximum specified range of selected sensor. Default HSPL value is 400. Parameter 4. Process value offset. Function of this parameter is to add or subtract a constant value to the set process value to obtain final process value for control application. Default process offset value is 0. Parameter 5. Input filter. Controller is equipped with an adaptive digital filter, which is used to filter out any extraneous pulses on the process value. Default input filter value is 4. Parameter 6. Control mode. User can select between on-off or time proportional action algorithm to be adopted for output. Control mode as time proportional. Control mode as on-off. Parameter 7. Control logic. This parameter will appear only if selected control mode is on off. User can select heating logic in which output 1 will remain until process value is less than set point. User can select cooling logic in which output 1 will remain on till process value more than set point. Parameter 8. Output 2 function. Parameter 8. Output to function as auxiliary control. This parameter allows the user to select output to as a auxiliary control. Parameter 9. Output to as auxiliary control mode. Output to as absolute set point. If selected, user can set set point 2 value independently, irrespective of set point 1. Output to as deviation set point. In this mode set point 2 is always related with set point 1. User can set set point 2 value with deviation of plus minus 99 degrees Celsius with respect to set point 1. Parameter 10. Output 2 logic. User can select heat logic for control output 2, in which output 2 will remain on, till process value is less than set point 2. User can select cool logic for control output 2 in which output 2 will remain on till process value is greater than set point 2. Parameter 8, output 2 as alarm control. Parameter 11, alarm type for output 2. Low alarm, output 2 activates when process value is less than set point 2. High alarm. Output 2 activates when process value is greater than set point 2. Deviation alarm. Output 2 activates when process value exceeds set point 1 plus minus set deviation value. Band alarm. Output 2 activates when process value falls outside the band with respect to set point 1 in either direction. Parameter 12. Alarm logic. User can select direct alarm logic, in which output 2 will be on under alarm condition, 
otherwise off. User can select reverse alarm logic in which output 2 will be on in normal conditions and will be off under alarm conditions. Parameter 13, Alarm Inhibit. If this parameter is set as yes and alarm condition persists, it will disable alarm output at power on. If this parameter is set as no and alarm condition persists, it will enable alarm output at power on. Parameter 14, Alarm Acknowledged. Once the alarm is activated, user has three options to deactivate it. If this parameter is set as auto, when process value falls outside the alarm limits, then alarm will be deactivated automatically. If this parameter is set as manual, once the alarm is activated, it remains activated until acknowledged manually by up key. If this parameter is set as both, once the alarm is activated, it can be deactivated either by pressing up key or when process value falls outside the alarm limits. Parameter 8, Output 2 as Soak Timer. This parameter allows the user to select Output 2 as a Soak Timer mode. After power on, when process value greater than and equal to set value Soak Timer will start running in down direction. Timer base for soak time is in minutes. After soak timer is over, output 1 is the energizes, and output 2 will energizes for the time period set via soak time delay. Parameter 15, set point 1. If enabled, user can view and edit the set point 1 in user list. If disabled, user can only view the set point but cannot edit it in user list. Parameter 16. Set point 2. If enabled, user can view and edit the set point 2 in user list. If disabled, user cannot view or edit the set point 2 in user list. Parameter 17. User lock code. Default user lock code is 15 to access control and configuration list. This is the last parameter of configurational mode. Press set key to enter in run mode. Run mode. Control mode for AI5982. To enter in control mode, press and hold set and down key simultaneously for 3 seconds. Set this parameter to 15 to access control list. Parameter 1, proportional band. This parameter will appear only if selected control action is time proportional. Default value for proportional band is 5.0. Parameter 2, Cycle Time. This parameter will appear only if selected control action is time proportional. Default cycle time value is 16.0 seconds for relay output and 1.0 seconds for SSR output. Parameter 3, Control Hysteresis for Output 1. This parameter will appear only if selected control action is on off. Default value of hysteresis is 2 degree centigrade. It sets the dead band between on and off switching of the output. Parameter 4, time delay for output 1. This parameter will appear only if selected control action is on off. Default value of delay is 0. It set the main output restart time. If set to 0, Output will be switched without delay. Parameter 5, Control Hysteresis for Output 2. This parameter will appear only if selected control mode for Output 2 is auxiliary control or an alarm. The value of this parameter sets the dead band between on and off switching of output load. Parameter 6, Time Delay for Output 2. This parameter will be appear only if output 2 is configured as an auxiliary control output, it set the output delay time where output 2, once turned off will turn on only after delay time, regardless difference between process value and set point 2. Also, delay will be considered at every power on. Parameter 7, Soak Time Delay. This parameter will be appear only if selected output 2 function as soak timer. 
This parameter sets the activation time for output 2 when soak timer is over. Setting this parameter to 0 will make output 2 continuously on at the end of soak time till user starts the next cycle. Parameter 8 Set Point Offset This parameter will appear only if selected control action is time proportional. Default set point offset value is a 0. This is last parameter of control list. Press set key to enter in run mode. Run mode. Thank you for watching.